And when that is done, ladies and gentlemen, I would like us all to count down officially to the launch of Chief Meters and Electrical Uganda Limited. From three, two, raise the ribbon. And finally, one, cut the ribbon, ladies and gentlemen, to officially launch Chief Meters and Electrical Company Uganda Limited here at Sino Valley Industrial Park. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for joining us for this auspicious occasion. In three, two, and finally, one. Congratulations, Chief. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. We shall have a group photo right at the end. So this is the final stage. Yes, yes. Okay. We eat our ready for consumption. Okay, uh, my name is Jody. I'm the Shinta Meter and Electrical Uganda company uh, general manager. Yeah, we have set up a meter factory here. This, this is a meter factory. We produce meter, electricity meter. Uh, we invest the amount is around uh, five hundred thousand dollar. Yeah, and we can provide thirty five jobs to local people. The annual output is around uh, 300,000 a year. Yeah, I think this is the first meter manufacturing uh, company in Uganda. Yeah, so uh, we want to contribute to the electricity industry for Uganda. Yeah. How, how affordable is your equipment or your meter? Uh, sorry? How affordable is this meter to the local person? The price? Ah, the yeah. price. Uh, actually, uh, we still now we didn't get uh, we, the, the meter is just, uh, the factory is just ready, and we still not get the order. Uh, I think the price is around uh, uh, fifty to sixty. But it, you know, we, we, if we, if we uh, give us order, yeah, that's uh, progress to. Negotiated the price. Okay. Yeah, so around 50 to 60 dollars. Okay. 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 That are locally manufactured. All products manufactured by Chinese companies are Ugandan products. That must be clear. It is only Chinese products which are imported, but the ones locally manufactured are Ugandan products. And want to assure the consumers and the public that all products manufactured in Uganda by Chinese companies, so long as they are certified by UNBS, they have a quality mark, those have superior standard, you, you will guarantee their performance, we guarantee their quality, and we provide assurance to the consumers that they are superior and as good as uh, uh, other uh, really high quality products uh, imported into the country. So I want to guarantee you that uh, we with buy Uganda, build Uganda, Certification of locally manufactured products is key, and we are now uh, embarking on making sure that our locally manufactured products begin to be exported beyond the country on account of being superior in quality. There, there, uh, of course, as you know, a uh, government has a policy of import substitution. Uh, it can choose to selectively levy taxes to discourage or minimize importation of some products that can be locally manufactured. So those policies are there they are under Ministry of Finance. But as a standards body, we are emphasizing to make our local products more superior than imported products. That way, you discourage those who would want to import similar products to the country because you already have them available here at a superior quality and possibly cheaper than even the imported products. So for us, uh, we are pursuing import substitution by making sure that we improve the quality of our local products so that we discourage importation of what similar products from outside the country. Instead, we want to focus on exporting our products uh, to other parts of the world.
<laughs> go to the regulator. There you have the ED himself here. Absolutely. The regulator is here. Very good. <laughs> and Meme is here. Uh -huh. uh, me, I sit on the board. I'm not in day-to-day -day management. Yeah. But I don't like to hear all these customers saying that all the meters are cheating yeah. out of something. Absolutely. Streamline this process. Yeah. And now the factory is, not, is here, not yeah. that we have to go back to China to check. Very Let's good. have meters that are reliable, that are trusted by Ugandans. Yeah. Everybody is happy. Yeah. Because we have a duty yeah. to protect our customers yeah. and all the other stakeholders. Absolutely. So I'm really delighted that you chose the name of our chief yesterday, you. and you do justice to this Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mene has got just under 2 million customers today on the customer base, maybe 1.8 to 1.9. Our neighbors just across the border, not far from here, have got 9 million customers. Now when they set up a factory here, even if they only make 1 or 2 dollars on each meter, by the time we reach also 9 million customers, they have made 18 million dollars. So it's a viable business. We encourage people to set up industries so that we stop importing all these things and creating jobs in China. Let them come here, set up factories here at least, and create jobs for Ugandans. And that we welcome. So we are going to be lobbying the government very hard soon, as soon as this factory is properly running. And we see they are reliable, they are setting up, uh, they can supply the demand because now the government has approved big loan access to electricity is becoming a priority. Yeah. We want to see that they put a tax on imported meters so that they can protect the industries that are in Uganda and encourage more people to come and set up factories here because we are going to put, here, provide electricity to all our people. Absolutely. In every nook and village they should have electricity. Let them not use electricity by choice, not because it's not available. Absolutely. After all, we have the source of the land, the river land. How can Kenya have 9 million customers who have only two yet? We have the best source of energy. River Nile, the source is here in Uganda, this beautiful country. So we have a lot of work to do. Mine was to welcome all of you today, to say thank you to Tian Tian Group, thank you to Chint, thank you to our development partners for making this a conducive environment for people to do business. Thank you for creating jobs for our young people. We thank the DPC here for keeping the peace and security in this area. We are proud of the work you do. You all of you in uniform, and when I say the police, the army, everybody who's in uniform, we thank you for your efforts. Our local leaders for keeping the peace. Bali used to be a problem for many. We had the highest problems in Bali of commercial theft of electricity. But the leadership has worked closely with the many, and now we have peace. People are paying for the electricity, they have reliable power, and the country is moving forward. That is development. That is good development. I want to thank all of you for your time today. And it shows that coming from Kampala, it was two and a half, almost three hours to get here. It is worth the effort. We should get out of our sleep and work much harder. Absolutely. These people are showing us what it takes to work and set up these factories. Absolutely. This industrialization journey the government has been talking about is something we must embrace. Yeah. I thank UIA, Uganda Investment Authority, for the role they have played in helping this development path. Yeah. They are line minister, Honorable Anite, yeah. and most importantly, our president, Yoweri Kabuto Museveni. Thank you, thank you so much. because in attendance we have business partners from Uganda around here and our headquarters um, colleagues who have really worked uh, with me personally tirelessly for years. Um, what a pleasure it is to see this great day of opening this factory. Once again, welcoming you all. Thanks for joining us on this remarkable occasion. We introduced change um, to Uganda market about 15 years ago. Honestly speaking, those days spark. Um, introducing a Chinese brand was really a bold move as people were so biased on Chinese goods. When I used to operate a small electrical shop at Nakasero Market in Kampala, of course I was dealing in um, mixed unknown brands from China. I used to get comments such as, why Chinese goods are fake? Why Chinese don't manufacture original stuff? So these comments could really um, hurt me because as I know it's not true. So I told myself that I need a game changer move. So of course I knew change was number one in this electrical field in China and also so much in the front line internationally. So I contacted Change. I sent them email and expressed my interest of being their distributor in Uganda. And 
they responded very positively. Thank you. So the journey was really not so easy. We faced a lot of doubts, resistance, but of course, I am a fighter and a believer. Where there's a will, there's a way. So at least today, I could proudly say that I've changed. We made it in Uganda, and we made it a big way. At least in the electrical sector, we have changed the consumer's perception on Chinese brands. Thank you. So I could proudly stand here and say, um, in Uganda, the electrical section, change is a symbol of quality. So really, we have outcompeted the big and the expensive Western brands. So we have striked the good balance of quality and affordability. <laughs> The world is facing a great transformation and energy is welcoming a new wave of a green transition. In nearly four decades since our establishment, Chins has remained focused on innovating, manufacturing, and to building our brand.